What's up guys, Nick White here. Uh, doing some more leak code, might as well. Uh, I'm feeling it right now. Uh, please join the Discord, support me on Patreon if you can. Really appreciate that. I spend a lot of time on these. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Max increase to keep city skyline. Medium level difficulty. Some dislikes, we'll give it a like. Uh, you're given a two-dimensional array or grid. So right here, 2D array. Um, each value of grid, uh, grid of I of J represents the height of a building located there. Okay, so we have a grid and we have a bunch of buildings. Um, each individual index is a building. So these are all buildings. The 3, the 0, the 8, the 4, all of that. Okay. Um, we are allowed to increase the height of any number of buildings by any amount. And the amounts can be different for each building. So we can... Uh, increase the height of any of these buildings like the three we can change to four or we can change it to five or we can change it to 15 or whatever we can change zero to five we can change six to nine we can do whatever we want uh, and you know when we make a change we if we change this by three if we increase this by three it doesn't mean we have to increase all of them by three we could change each of them individually with different amounts but we're only increasing okay uh, and these are all the heights of the buildings, by the way. So the, this building has a height of three, this one, and it says height zero is considered a building as well, even though a height of zero usually means nothing. So it would be like a building that goes from underground to like floor level, I guess. But, you know, no, it's a height zero, I guess, basically just a building with height zero. Okay. So what's the objective? We have these buildings. We're allowed to increase the heights of any of them. So what is the objective? Okay. At the end, it looks like the skyline viewed from all four directions, bottom left, top right, must be the same as the original grid. Okay, so we can increase the buildings as much as we want, but the skyline has to be the same as the original grid, and I'll get into what that means in a second. A city skyline is the outer contour of the rectangles formed by the building when viewed from a distance. What is the maximum total sum of the height of the buildings that uh, that can be increased? Okay, so this might seem confusing. What is a skyline? We're looking at a 2D array. This is, you know, there's buildings. Well, what they mean is they mean that the highest, the maximum value in each column has to stay the same and the maximum value in each row has to stay the same. So let's look at these examples. The first row, what is the maximum row value? The maximum row value is 8. Well, in the output array, the maximum row value is also 8. The second row is 7. The second row of the output, 7, still maximum. Then 9, 9. 3, 3, right? See what I'm saying? All of the uh, maximum row values have to be the same. For the columns, first one's 9, output array, 9, 4, 4, you know what I'm saying? 8, 8, 7, 7. Okay, but for any value that isn't the maximum row or column value, we want to increase those as much as we can. We just cannot go past the highest value in each row and the highest value in each column right so we can increase this three to an eight because the maximum column is nine and the maximum row is eight so as long as we don't go above nine or eight we can increase it to eight we cannot go above the minimum of the column or the row value and what we want to do is we want to increase each of the buildings as much as we can without going past the skyline the skyline is the maximum row maximum column values and as long as we do that, we're going to be adding. So if we increase this three to an eight, that's a five height difference. So we add that on to an ongoing sum and then we output it. When we increase this zero to a four, because the four is the max column, we can only go up to the either the minimum of the max column in the maximum row. So the max column is four, max row is eight. And then we have to, we can only go up to four. Okay. So that's, it's pretty much easy what we do here to solve this problem. It was a li the wording's pretty bad, but the problem's pretty cool. Uh, all we want to do is we want to find the maximum row value for each row and put it into an array. And we want to find the maximum column value of each column and put that into an array. And then the formula is basically 
we we have this result variable or like sum or whatever you want to call it and we're going to be adding the minimum of the max column val and the max row val and then subtracting the current element and we this this is this is the whole formula right here we do result plus equal min of the max column val and the max row val minus the current value so if the minimum of the so for example zero the max the minimum of four and eight because four is the max column and eight is the max row is four so we do four minus the current element which is zero and then we get the answer which is four and we subtract the current element just to get how much we would increase it by if that makes sense right like um for example, seven is the max column value and eight is the max row value. So we can only go to seven. So we would in be increasing by three. So we just take the minimum of these values, seven, we subtract four, and that gives us what we would have increased it by, three. I think it's really straightforward. All right, so yeah, that's it. So first, let's just get uh, n is going to be equal to grid.length. Uh, we're going to set up some uh, max row vals array is equal to new int array of n and int um, max column vals is equal to new int of n as well. So we can say n is uh, n is going to be the side of the uh, the number of rows or the number of columns because if you look here, it says number of rows and columns are the same is what this statement says. So it's like a square grid basically. So that's why we can do this because there's going to be the same number of columns and rows. So you just get the number of rows is n, and then you just say, okay, the we're gonna this this ver, this uh, array max row vals is gonna store the maximum value in each row. So if the it's a four by four, it's gonna store four values, and then this is gonna store the max value in each column. That's gonna store four, four values as well. How do we get these values? Well, we just loop through the array, um, rows by column loop here which kind of stinks, but it's no big deal. You could really just do less than n, since you could use n for everything, honestly. So we could do less than n. Uh, uh, J++, make sure you're doing J and not being dumb like me. So standard loop through a 2D array, right? Uh, and we're going to need to do these twice, so let me just put that there. What, so first we construct, the, we get the maximum row value of each row. And that is the math.max between the current maximum row value we have in the index, which they all start as zero, um, and the, um, the current grid cell. That's it. Um, and it's the same for the columns. Obviously with J's. So if you look at this, I don't know if I want to explain this because it might take, I feel like this video is already getting long, but... It, while you're looping through, you're checking the max. These are just empty arrays that start as a bunch of zeros. So you check the current element. So on the first, the first, let's do the column ones. So on the, the columns, it goes, you know, J goes one, two, three, four, right? So it goes, well, it goes zero, one, two, three. That's the indexes. So it would do max row values of zero is equal to the max of zero in the current element, right? So... The column vals would check against three and zero and be like, okay, this is the max column value is three. Okay, now the max column value is zero. It stays zero. Okay, now the max column value is eight for this one. And you just get it by index. Now the max column value is four. And then as you go through the whole thing, you keep updating them because it goes back to zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. J does that a bunch of times, checks all the values and puts them in the right indexes. Should be pretty straightforward. Maybe think about it. Comment below if you don't get it, and maybe I'll message you an explanation. Um, and now, once you have all these, you have the all the max row values and the max column values. So we just use the formula from earlier. We do result plus equals um, the minimum of those values, the minimum of the um, the current max row val max row values of i and um, max column vals of j minus grid of i of j and um yeah that that should be it and then you return the result i feel like i messed up i just have a bad feeling but i also made nope there we go perfect okay 
So that's it. Yeah, we used the formula from earlier. You just uh, get the minimum of those. I mean, I explained it already, but you get the... To find out how much you're increasing each element by, you would just check, okay, what's the minimum of the... The max column value is 4 here. Max row value is 8 here. So the minimum is 4. And then you just do 4 minus 0 is 4. And then that's what you update it to. You add that to a sum and you return it at the end result. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Or appreciate everyone that supports. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I think this is a cool problem. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next